Hello OG, I'm Arnie and welcome to my small house here in Antipol. So the idea about uh, building this tiny house was formed when I was still in Ireland. I was doing my PhD in Ireland at that time. And I was also going through a midlife uh, crisis because I really didn't know what I wanted. Um, I was having misgivings about the PhD, whether I was going to return, if I was going to return, where would I be uh, living? And then I was told by my mother that they finally cleared up the bodega space that we had. It gave me an idea that when I returned from my PhD, I wanted to transform that into my own uh, small space, my own small home. I wanted to explore living in a smaller house because one, I wanted um, independence. I wanted to be close to my mother who's already 90 years old. So the tiny house is actually within uh, the compound of our house and uh, my mother lives a few steps away. And then I wanted to live um, an intentional, minimalist life. I didn't want to be tied down to uh, consumerist objects, to properties and whatnot, because I wanted to uh, simplify and downsize my life in a lot of ways. And one of the ways I thought I would be able to do that was to come up with a tiny house where I could live, a minimal life, a frill-free and simple life where I am unencumbered by stuff that we own. It's really nice to live in the tiny house in the sense that it's easy to clean, it's clutter-free, it's easy to uh, maintain um, also. So it's a very ideal life for me, in fact. So I got inspiration from uh, Marie Kondo, from Japan style uh, of aesthetics. And then in a sense, I also wanted uh, some industrial feel, but this was accidental um, in nature because when they poured the concrete for the ceiling of the house, they actually used corrugated iron uh, for the concrete form. So when you look up at the ceiling, you will actually see that it looks like corrugated iron. At the start, I wanted to cover it up, but then I realized um, that it also will work for me in the sense that it has a minimalist, um, industrialized look. So what I did was I actually just painted it uh, gray and then uh, put up a metal uh, design, which I painted in black, and then I put up ceiling fan to complete the industrial look. The house is actually very small. The floor area is just 21 square meters. But since I built a loft, which is around nine square meters, it totals to around 30 square meters all in all. So when you enter the house towards the left, you will see here uh, my small office space. So I specifically instructed uh, a carpenter that I hired uh, to create a lot of um, cabinet space for the stuff that I have. I have a lot of books as a teacher and I also keep a lot of papers. So it's important for me to be able to store all these things away uh, when I'm not uh, using them. So I have uh, three cabinet spaces for that and drawer spaces also for it. Once you enter the house, you will see the two-seater sofa. So in front of the living area is the dining area, which has a two-seater dining table. Then right next to it is a complete kitchen because I like uh, to cook. I have a stove and oven, I have a refrigerator, and then lots of storage space for my cooking stuff and pantry supplies. Right next to the kitchen is actually the small bathroom. It has an Asian a minimalist aesthetic. So you will see some of my Buddha statues inside. Mm -hmm. 
the stairs are actually made up of Paluchina wood because I like the light wood. It makes the room uh, seem lighter and airier. That's why I decided to use Paluchina wood. So when you climb up uh, the stairs, you will see uh, my loft style bedroom, which has the queen size bed and extra storage space. And underneath the stairs actually are my storage space for my clothes and other stuff. The bathroom is something that I had uh, to construct um, from scratch because it was uh, non-existent before. And then I had to utilize the top space of the bathroom into the loft style bedroom. So the loft style bedroom was actually built over the small uh, bathroom. The original budget for this was uh, 300,000, but all in all, after purchasing all the appliances and everything, it totaled to 350,000 uh, pesos. For you to be able to take advantage of the small space, you have to be able to be imaginative in how you utilize uh, the space. So instead of uh, using corrugated iron as my roof, I had a rooftop garden built on top of the small house. So the rooftop garden is where I keep my ornamental plants and um, vegetable garden. It's actually nice to live in a small space. I think it will not be difficult for a lot of Filipinos to actually live in a small space because a lot of people actually live in very small spaces here. But we have to be very intentional in how we design it so that we know that the house will not end up uh, cluttered. The important part about um, this tiny house actually is a uh, storage space because it's easy for the house to get cluttered if you don't have um, enough storage space for your stuff. So when I made the house, I made sure that I have storage space in every corner of the house where I could keep my different stuff. It also makes us more intentional in the way we buy things, in the way we live our lives because of the small space you make sure that you don't buy things that you don't need. You only buy things that uh, will actually fit the house. And then you also realize that you don't actually need a lot of things to be happy. Because it's easy to clean, I don't have to spend a lot of time cleaning and maintaining the house. And because of that, I can do other things that I want to do uh, with my life. I can also save more money to engage in things that I love doing, like uh, traveling, like uh, reading, and going hiking. Want to share your house and get featured? Email us at stories.onlygood at gmail.com and tell us about your interesting home story. For more videos like this, subscribe to OG and be part of the community.